Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Ecliptic Spiritualist channel. It is February the 26th, 2020. It is Work Your Magic Wednesday or What Do I Need to Do Wednesday or What Is My Why This Wednesday. So we've got an interesting reading coming in for this day. Stay tuned for coming up this week, our beautiful magic of writing and our magic the Magic of Journaling video will come up, and there's a couple of other videos that are coming in for this week as well. So stay tuned. I hope you are flowing in this new moon energy that we have. Um, I do not have the astrological forecast up for this week because we're just thriving in this, in this new moon energy that's still um, existing right now and with a lot of the other planets are kind of at a standstill at the moment. So I'm going to uh, not put that update on the website, but I'll have it bringing it back next week. Okay. So we have postponed our Zoom chat for um, Flowers in the Attic book, Keeping the Keys. So stay tuned for that update for next Tuesday. We're scheduling for that. I did post why I had to reschedule that on the community board. So let's get it in. Drum roll, please. Now we have the chariot in reverse. We have the chariot in reverse. And we also have the ten of wands in reverse as well. The ten of wands in reverse as well. Now what, <coughs> excuse me, what is the divine the source saying to us today? On this Wednesday about the chariot in reverse we got a couple of things okay have you checked your why that's what the divine the spirit guides and angels are asking uh, with the chariot here you are letting too many obstacles and challenges get in your way yes it is getting hard yes it gets challenging but you must know your why you must know your why. Why? Why do you want change in your relationship? Why do you want um, promotion? Why do you want that house? Why do you want successful relationships? Why do you want to make certain purchases? Why are you trying to get married? Why are you trying to get this person back? Why are you not investing your money into things that you've been called to invest your money into? Why are you holding back in your life? The why. Why, why, why? And your goals, you know. These are very important things with the chariot in reverse is asking. But as a clarifier with this ten, and, ten of wands in reverse, um, the ten of reverse is saying you are allowing this be, to become weights. You are allowing certain whys that you have to become weights in your life, okay? Because you're trying to heave hold them up the hill. So you're allowing them to be weights. But you have to recalibrate your whys. You know, why are you wanting something? What, what, why, what, when, who, and where? But this main scope is the why in your life, the why. So it's a, it is a saying that this philosopher had by the name of Frederick Nitschke, okay? And he's a German philosopher. And he said, he who has a why can endure any how. He who has a why can endure any how, okay? He or she. So knowing your why is important, is important. It's very important first to stepping in and figuring out how to achieve your goals and that excitement that you have in creating a life that you enjoy living versus merely surviving. So this will help you know your why. When you know your why, okay, moving in your life, when you know your why and when things get challenging in your life um, and challenges will arise because that's part of life, um, you can get back on focus and get the reward that you so desire when you know your what? When you know your why. When you know your why. Okay. So what we're saying here is the divine and source of spirit guys is saying is that you have to recalibrate yourself and get back to the focus of the matters, the focus in your life, knowing your why, checking up on yourself. 
listening up to this very important message so that you can go forward in your life and not carry some weights that are unnecessarily. Sure, we're going to have challenges. Sure, we're going to have weights, you know, but sometimes as adults, we forget how to apply the weights that come. Sometimes we have weights on our jobs. Sometimes there are people on our jobs that are a big weight. You know, you look at them, you're like, that's a kettlebell. <laughs> you know, oh my God. But how do I maneuver around this weight? How do I move around this difficult boss? Why am I staying? Why am I still in this job for 10 years? And what is my why? Why am I here? But have I made the proper steps to get out of there? You know, and not holding on to something or regretting something or staying there because things didn't move as escalated as you want them to be. But you still have to apply the pressure to move forward out of that job. Have you um, increased your skill set? You know, have you gone back to school? Have you used some of the advantages on the job? This is for someone that they have allowed you to get a certification, you know, going to these um, different workshops that they're offering so that you can better set your skill set. Are you putting yourself in the position and moving your way out of being part of the crowd? You know, you have to stand alone sometimes to be noticed and not be a part of the peanut gallery, especially in the job set, especially when you have a, some things that you want to shift out of your life. What things have you applied in your relationships to change your, your relationship with your partners? You know, some of us want our relationships back with the former person, but what have you done to a change in yourself? Are you carrying weights from your past? Have you come to get energy healing of your past so that you can be set free? You know, have you done a intuitive reading and then come to get energy healing so we can release those things out of your solar plexus from past relationships or injuries so that you can be healed from them things? We offer energy healing in Reiki. Uh, distance right online and locally have you looked into that for changing that inner child or that inner adult that's been injured you know these are things that we have to know our whys it's very fruitful for you to know your why so that you can proceed forward have you done the new moon ritual that was there to put things apply things into your life with rituals and intentions have you done it or have you just bypassed the video and say oh that can't happen in your life well it can happen in your life if you apply it you have to do the work to get the work it's just like going to work and expecting to pay and doing mediocre work you know mediocrity breeds mediocrity so you mediocrity so you have to be above that. You have to push above that when you know your why. Yes, things are challenging. Yes, things get hard, but that's part of life. And we have to plunge forward and grow and go. Set your goals, get in school, uh, invest your money into something that you can look forward to into your future. You know, doing investments, taking leaps into these things coming to us for diagnostic consultations and readings so that you can get a better handle in your life. That's why you're watching the videos. So in saying that, know your why, all right? So I love you for watching today. Don't forget to click that wiggly bell down below, ding, dong, ding, to make sure you're getting the daily fresh card readings that come to you on a daily basis. Don't forget to get your spell work. That would change your life in every single area of your life because you are an earthling living in the earthly experience, but you are a spiritual being. So you should be taking time to get into your sacred space, um, meditation, affirmations, the five, uh, five gratitudes or 10 gratitudes in your life so you can have a better outlook on your life. If you are breeding negativity and looking at what you don't have or what's this and what's that, then it's going to continue to be that way. But if you're appropriating gratitude methods on a daily basis, which is in our magic of journaling in the playlist here, you will see things change in your life. 
because you are operating in a higher level of positivity and then you send it out into the ethers and giving your angels charge over you and marching orders to do what it is that you want change in your life. Some of us want new relationships or our past relationships or our current relationships to do better, but you got to do better to get better. That means sometimes it starts with changing who? You and not the other person. We have to breed ourselves and change ourselves first. Okay, so I love you for watching today. Stay tuned for the magic of journaling part six that will come tonight. I'm going to schedule your readings and your energy healing, um, energy healing um, consultations or sessions with me. You can contact me by email with more information pertaining to that. We are growing and going through 2019. Next week, we'll be doing our uh, Zoom chat on keeping the keys. I will have the book up, the new book that we will be doing coming up. So if you have not completed keeping the keys, you got another week to read it or listen to it to audio or go on um, Kindle. All right. I love you for watching today. Don't forget to dig deep and trust in yourself first. Always like, share, and subscribe the videos. Like and share and follow here on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. So have a marvelous, great day. Don't just be busy, but be productive. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.